In this video, we'll run you through some best practices and tips and tricks for using web chat triggers. Hey bot builders, I'm Gordy from BotPress and we're back with another bot built using the amazing new generative AI features of the BotPress Cloud Studio. Now this is a very simple bot that I have for you guys here because we're not actually all about the bot in this video, we're about the triggers and how your bot can interact with your web page to do really cool things like start the conversation on its own and get information from the web page and use it in the chat. Let's get started. This bot I have is a very simple bot right now, it's just a parrot. If I say something, it will say something right back to me as I said it. Again, it's a very simple bot because this is all about the triggers. What triggers are bot but a web page? I've got a web page built here using JS Fiddle. It's a development tool where you can put some HTML with JavaScript, a little bit of CSS, and you get a nice development web page hosted right in your browser. It's a great tool for building quick little demos like this, and I'm really excited to have it here for you guys today. This bot example here, I've got a bunch of buttons and they do kind of exactly what they say. Starting off with this button to show the bot, when I click it, the bot should pop up. It'll take a little, a little while because the bot was just published, but hey, here we go. The bot has been shown. This is not actually a trigger, but we are listening for an event. If we look at the JavaScript down here, I have my button and when the button is clicked, we send the event of type show to the bot. Nothing about triggers. You don't have to have triggers on your bot to be able to show and hide the bot with this button. Also, you don't have to listen for a click. You can listen for really any event that we can catch in JavaScript. So your web page is finished loading, you can show the bot. A timer goes off for 30 seconds and when it's done, we can show the bot. If you have a backend process like processing payments, when the payment is finished, you can show the bot. There's all sorts of events that we can use to do cool things with the bot. Let's keep going. This next button is trigger the bot. I'll press it and the bot shouldn't show up, but we I heard a little boop and we've got a notification. When I click that button, our bot now starts from the trigger. And this is where we start getting into triggers. Looking at the website for this trigger button, I'm sending an event just like we did to show the chatbot, but this time the type is trigger. Jumping back to the bot, I've got my trigger node here, listening for web chat triggers, not a conversation start or a message, but a trigger, because that's what we sent from the website. And we can actually see when we discover events, all of these other previous triggers down here. And this lets us know that the pipeline is working. When we send a trigger from the website, it's being caught by the bot. We have this trigger node. It starts from trigger and makes the bot say something different than what it normally says, right? If I say, hello, remember our bot is a parrot, it will say hello back. But when I trigger the bot, it gives us a different message. Really cool. Another way we can send information from to and from the bot is by sending a payload. This next button, say hello, will send hello to the bot. There we go, greetings. We've got a send payload method where we send of uh, type text and our text is greetings. This is a nice way to kind of hard code a start message for how the user begins the conversation. We can also combine all of these things together. You don't have to just do one event or one payload at a time. Let's take a look at this button to show bot and say something. We click, we show the bot, and we say hello chatbot. We take a look at the code for show and say down here. We send the event of type show, then we send a payload of type text with the text being hello chatbot. To show again, we have another button to show and trigger. This will do the same thing. We will start off to show the bot with the send event, and then we trigger the bot. And again, we don't have to just be listening for button clicks. This could be something that gets done when your web page is finished loading. Or if you have a CRM and you make a new contact for the user, you can take that event and say, hey, welcome to our database user, let's go. Last, I want to talk about this little form. I have two questions here about your name and your favorite color. I'll go ahead and start off with Mary, just to make things different, with color red, and submit. These are just normal buttons and text fields. And like the other buttons, oh, here we go. And like the other buttons, we have an event listener listening for that submit click. 
we take the data from the name, we take the URL, and we get the selected color and send it all to a bot. And here's where we do a really cool trick. We don't want to send a trigger because we've got all of this custom data, but we don't want to put that in the payload so the user sees all of the custom data that we want to send. So instead, what we do is we send a text event, just like when we say hello, except we add an additional payload. And in this payload is where we put our web form information. Then back in the bot, we have a new transition that looks for this additional payload. And when that payload is present, we go to a third node where we save the information from that payload to workflow variables. And then we tell the information to the user just like this. And finally, we insert it into a cool new table. And if we look at our table now, we should see Mary with their favorite color red and the URL right there. Again, that's all done on the website side. We just have our send payload where we take the information from the website and share it in a second payload. If you want this bot for yourself, I will put a link in the description below to our Discord server. That's where this tutorial and many others are going to be held, as well as experts like me and other people who are there to encourage you, give you help on your chatbots, and share cool things that we build. It's a great community, and I really recommend you guys to join. Other than that, that's all we have for today, and I will see you guys next time. Happy bot building!